Welcome to another episode of Eric looking good while I'm <laughs> wondering about these art books. I'm sorry. Of course, you're not looking good. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. Um, we are talking today about Barry Windsor Smith and the two books Opus and Opus 2. Let's get it started. <clears throat> yes, as you might have seen, we did one episode on the studio book, which contained a lot of uh, Barry Windsor Smith's old artwork, or older, because it's from the late 70s. This one's from 1999, so there's a lot of uh, newer artwork in there. I, I really like the production quality of it. Um... And of course, the content. I mean, this his. 1999? Yeah. That's. Yeah, this. I always think the same thing when I look at this book. We gonna party like it's 1999. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was interrupting you. Yeah, that's okay. Um, there's, there's a lot of, I wouldn't say different styles in there, but he's exploring a lot of different stuff. There's cartoony things, there's simplistic things, there's very intricate drawings. Um, his, his mastery of, of the ink work is just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's again, one of those books you just sit down, listen to some good music, have something nice to drink and you just flip through those books and are just inspired and it just feels good. Like the music you were listening to when I was arriving here? That, that kind of good music? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy's very critical. Wow. Yes, absolutely. It's a great big wow. Um, I don't know if they were going to extend the series. So far, I own two of the Opus books. The one and the two. Mm -hmm. Who's publishing these? That's a good question. Um, I don't think that they're like extremely hard to get. Gary Groth and Tim Kim Thompson Publishers. Where's the copyright? I'm Baron Smith. Okay. Two thousand. Okay, so it's kind of self-published, I guess. Almost looks like it. Winston Smith Studio. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fantagraphics. Okay. Uh, Office of Publication. Fantagraphics. Uh, okay. Books. Is it Cyberpunk or something? Yeah, I think this was for Wolverine or Ma some Marvel Madam stuff. Madam Deathstrike. Oh, yeah. So, Marvel comic stuff. Wasn't Deathstrike the one with the long nails? Could be. This is from that Wolverine series that he worked on. Weapon X. Weapon X. Yeah, Weapon X. Mm. He drew that. Yeah, it was, oh, it was fantastic. These drawings, I mean, just look at... Oh. I can't get the song out of my head. Yeah, you can try. I don't really... My earworms are much, much, much more earworms. weird. English people don't know this word. English speakers. There's a German term called Urwurm, which translates to earworm. And it describes the situation where you have a song in your head and you can't get rid of it. Kind of like you're having a worm in your I think ear. in English there exists something like a heartworm. Which is something similar, considering love, basically. But there's also an earworm in Germany. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? It's so beautiful. So that, that's Medusa chopping up the head of Perseus? What does that mean here? I'm, I don't think that's Medusa, because... Well, oh no, she has, she has an eye. And... 
in my forehead. I don't know what it is. This what, is such what is this on? This bookmarks. <laughs> bookmarks. Toilet paper. Are you yeah. For real? What the heck? It's always present. Toilet paper bookmarks. Wait, did you read this last time in the toilet? No, it's not about that. But they're really soft. They don't damage the paper. That's smart. That's smart. Especially if you put a lot of bookmarks in a book, it'll fill it up to some extent, and I don't really want to, you know, damage the spine or anything. So I just use toilet paper. Smart. At least it's not used. Cyclops? Yep. I think so. Who's that? Some nuclear coat. Radioactive man from The Simpsons? Possible. Wow. I mean, since I'm really into um, a lot of this uh, pre-Raphaelite and um, Art Nouveau art and paintings and stuff that kind of revolves around old stories, myths, um, mythology, um, Barry Windsor Smith goes into these themes a lot, and it's something I very much enjoy. That's good stuff. How about the text? Do you know the content? What they're writing about? I think it's it's been a while. I've read. I didn't read it entirely. I've read over it, and it was a little like basically telling career stories, going into detail of some of the artwork. I know it's kind of stupid. You sh one should read much much more of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of chopped heads in this book. It's kind of his thing. Let's check out the other one. Oh wow, this is good. Yeah. Gypsy Girl. Mm -hmm. oh, I missed one. Oh wow. It's incredible. No. Yeah. I should be here more often, just looking through your books. And you have such good stuff here. Oh, no, it does. What? What did I miss? There's like a really pale drawing. Yeah. yeah. Again, your stuff, huh? Like. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, he draws a lot this this Greek profile. Yes. What do we have under the Oh yeah. Anything on the other side? Hopla. Hopla. This is better than the cover. I like that stuff. I like it when it's like that. Yeah, so what do you think of the, the production quality? It's pretty good. So this used to cost forty dollars. Even this edition, because that's the signed numbered one. Uh, probably more uh, in this case, but I don't know. Yeah, this, usually this one says. Oftentimes they $40. would they would just glue in a signed and numbered. Um, extra piece of artwork and just use the regular book. So this has work from a certain time, like from a certain time frame, area, from till, or In the first one, it's mixed. You can see a lot of the stuff uh, from the times when they were still in the studio together. There's some really old stuff and there's some newer things in there. Yeah. Um, so it, to me, it doesn't look like um, it shows you a specific time period. Warp Smiths. 
apparently watercolour. So. Oh yeah. Colman. Moral Conan. And of course, this was one of those classic themes of uh, adventure comic books in the 70s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frank Miller. Oh yeah, that's, that's Marv, isn't it? Yep. Marv with makeup? Maybe he just kissed a girl and liked it. <laughs> Das war was. Was? Das, was wir gerade gemacht haben. Was haben wir gerade gemacht? Ein Kiss the Girl Zeug. He kissed the girl and liked it? Ja. Das Face Smudging. Kann man auch alles sehr anders verstehen. Ah. Okay. Mm. So. Marvel Man. Mr. Bates. That Mr. Bates? I don't think it's that Mr. Bates. From Psycho? Well, maybe it is. <clears throat> I think I actually have that as a print. Yeah, The Lost Atlantean. Mm. I wonder how much <laughs> I wonder how much an original by this guy is at this time. Really interesting. I think they're incredibly expensive. Yeah, obviously. I, I just wonder in the nineties I because I know a guy that knows him and there, there's one piece of his one painting that was my favorite painting for years and years and years. And I asked how much it was. And like I said, we're talking the nineties. And the, the, the information I got back was that he refused the last offer of $25,000. So um, it's, I think it's very expensive. Okay. Is that Sylvester Stallone? No, it's not. Looks like him a little bit, no? Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Check this one out. This is absolutely gorgeous. De Capita. More chopped heads. Yeah. There's a lot of text on this one. I mean, the studio already had text, but there, here in this one, there's a lot of text. <laughs> Why not? This is not reality. Also diesen Teil kann man mit viel Musik unterspielen vielleicht.
klesa, no. No copy paste, this is all hand drawn. Every leaf. Every leaf. Oh my god, this is a comic. Mm -hmm. negative space in this one it's just so beautiful and again this these references to pre-raphaelite yeah. uh, paintings yeah yeah the romanticism in them <laughs> i mean look at that this is just it's crazy seasons passing 1980 to 87 means he, he took like seven years to finish it or he's not sure originally ophelia but was trying to quit the pre-raphaelite shakespeare, shakespeare illustration yeah. thing by the time i'd finished i'd finished fiddling with this picture there was more white paint on the board than black ink <laughs> yeah Yeah, but that's, that was a, like a bookmark for this piece. Just look at the hair. Gosh, this is so well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Another one of those Medusas? Medusa, yeah. Maybe you can see how big it is. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> wow. Over 200 pages, there's a lot of written words in here. I feel like this book is worth every penny. There, oh, yes. There must be a lot of knowledge in here, a lot of art, obviously, a lot of explanations to those who are fans or maybe want to, you know, somehow go in that direction, want to learn. Amazing. Yeah, this is one of those crown jewels of every art book collection. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, just uh, send us something in the comments. And he's smiling. That's generally a weird sign. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.